Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. I'm Mark Brash, your host. Today is Sunday, July 20th, 2014. And uh, this HHO experiment has really captured my imagination. So I'm continuing on with the experiments that I started. I want to check to see if we are actually capturing this uh, secondary vapor gas or not. And in an attempt to um, validate whether or not I've actually got a vapor gas or just HHO trapped in a bottle, what I've done is I've added a bubbler that was made for me many years ago by Richard Conan, R.E.K. Machine and Mold down in Bradenton, Florida, who I met at the first HHO games. This is a very nice bubbler with a with a nice uh, a nice aerator stone at the bottom, and I did have to make a couple of modifications to the stone, put some uh, rubber seals around the head of the screw and at the base of the stone. But other than that, it was perfect. And beside me is a five-gallon pail of water that I've used to uh, invert this bottle and fill it once with the HHO gas being generated by the uh, HHO cell. In the previous experiments, the way I went about filling the bottle was I left the top open, I allowed the uh, HHO cell to dump its uh, gas into the, into the bottle near the bottom alongside the detonator wire and I uh, would let it run for 45 minutes take the hose out, leave the detonator wire in, let it sit for five minutes, and then ignite it. And that was some of the still frames that you saw that I took uh, in, an, in an earlier video. Today, I'm running the cell at a much lower current, at a much lower temperature. And uh, if there is any vapor that's being produced by the cell in conjunction with the HHO gas, Hopefully, most of that is being condensed into the solution of the bubbler with the very tiny bubbles that are being created through the aerator stone and the cool nature of the water that's in the bubbler. Uh, so it, it was a very slow flow rate, and I took the bottle, inverted it, filled it once, capped it off. The experiment now is with what I believe is a much more pure gas. I'm going to take the cap off. I'm going to insert the igniter wire. I'm going to time it for five minutes. And then I'm going to attempt to reignite what the contents of this. If the, if the theory holds true, and I actually had what's called cluster gas, or electrically expanded water, in the bottle, early, in the earlier experiments, the hydrogen itself in this bottle, which I believe is much more pure, should vent off in five minutes and I should get little or no pop at all by opening it up for five minutes. That's the experiment. We'll find out in about five minutes. Okay, we're 45 seconds away from possible detonation. I have my igniter ready. I have the lights dimmed as best I can. I don't have shades on the workshop yet. Five, four, three, two, one. And that, man, serious ozone. That um, is an identical result to what I got with what was supposedly the vapor gas. I'm going to turn the lights on. So you can very clearly see all of the water vapor that has condensed on the side as a result of the oxyhydrogen reaction. 
and the cloudy gas that remains inside. I don't know how well you can see that, probably not very well at all, but uh, very high concentration of ozone. So, well, that was interesting. I'm glad I did the experiment. I'm actually a little surprised at the result, but then again, maybe not. Next test is to refill the bottle and let it bleed down for 15 minutes and see if I get any poof at all. See you in 15. Okay, once again, we're about 45 seconds away from the experiment. Got a little carried away filling bottles with uh, HHO to just blow up indiscriminately outside the door. So let me turn out the lights. Coming up on 15 seconds. And in five, four, three, two, one. So in sim like in similar experiments, I did see an electrostatic discharge inside the bottle, only a very small one, and certainly not the kind of bang that we got by only waiting five minutes, but definitely the same type of ignition that we did with what I presumed was the cluster gas or the electrically expanded water or whatever you are calling it these days whatever is in vogue however <clears throat> based on the tests that I just did making the gas in such a way that I condensed the vapor gas out of the out of the what was produced in the bubbler Filling it only once, not allowing the vapors to collect inside the bottle, igniting it, getting the same results. I'm going to say that uh, what we had in the bottle was nothing more than latent hydrogen. And uh, that's what I take away from this. It's open to debate, but uh, I, think, uh, I think it's time to blow this thing to kingdom come. I should probably turn the uh, bottle sideways for better clarity. In five, four, three, two, one. It flew inside the door. When it split, it flew inside the door. It split the bottle along the edge, along the side, instead of along the bottom like it usually does. That was pretty loud. In three, two, one. All right, two liter bottle. In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I 
Okay, these were particularly energetic explosions. The inside of the plastic is melted. This is very high quality HHO. <laughs> and my girls are sitting out on the porch. <laughs> they, they didn't think that was funny. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>